chest x-ray interpretation after cardiac surgery. First of all, we have to confirm the uh, patient's name, age and date of the film exposure and define the film AP, PA or lateral erectosupine view, contrast or plain film and check the patient's orientation and the alignment of the patient see if there is any indwelling catheter, clip strain, prosthetic valves, stents and wires. Now we need to examine the bony tissues for fracture, dislocation, lytic lesion, calcification, erosions, extra rib and then assess the soft tissue shadows in the neck, chest, wall, breast and look for diaphragm. We need to examine the mediastinal shadow symmetrically, look for the airways including trachea, main bronchi, lung fields and count the number of ribs that are visible and if there is any fracture in the ribs then we need to identify and we need to collect, uh, comment on the vascularity of the lung field in general. Uh, in the post-operative uh, period the chest x-rays are important especially after a cardiac surgical operation and uh, there are several uh, things that needs to be seen. First of all uh, if there is any previous film, uh, we need to see for the comparison. Uh, ITU films are usually taken in anterior-posterior uh, view and at a variable distance from the patient. So assessment of the change of the width of, of the mediastinum and hence the presence of blood clot after surgery can be difficult. Secondly, mainly uh, many of these films are taken in the supine position so will not show the classical meniscus or the fluid in the costophrenic angles. However, the presence of fluid will be su uh, suspected by general haziness uh, which will be more obvious if uh, it is unilateral. The scheme includes the following point check uh, as we have discussed uh, the check uh, the uh, general orientation and uh, see if the endotracheal tube and uh, that will signify the patient is extubated or ventilated still and deviation of the mediastinum. Another important uh, thing in post-operative period is two hilar shadows. If one on the other, these are swung down to suggest the presence of at least some lobe collapse and then we need to look at the costophrenic angle as the presence of fluid will cause blunting of these angles when the uh, x-ray is taken in the erect position. Now exclude the pneumothorax by checking the lung marking. We need to look at the lung fields. A generalized haziness could be due to pulmonary edema or fluid in both the hemithoraces while the unilateral haziness might uh, signify the fluid, often blood, in that hemithorax. If the upper lobe uh, diversion is present, then it is significant left ventricular failure. Sequential enlargement of the cardiac shadow over the series of film indicate the need of echocardiogram to exclude intrapericardial collection of the blood of fluid. Now uh, there could be AP and uh, PA uh, x-rays. The basic examination is the PA view. The patient stands uh, facing the film and clasping the mouth mount in both the arms and uh, x-ray pass through the chest from posterior to anterior and the films are taken in full inspiration to maximize the size of the lung field and this is an advantage over the uh, AP view which is used for a portable x-ray in the patient with poor mobility and uh, these are a scapula rotated away from obscuring the lung field lung fields are also obscured less by mediastinal shadow and relative sizes of the lung fields and the cardiac silhouette can be reliably used to comment on the cardiomegaly and mediastinal widening. The lateral uh, view are used to further define the abnormalities identified in the lung fields on the PA or AP film. A lateral film to is taken to define the abnormalities in the left thorax. Patient's left side is placed against the film which is labeled left and the right lateral views are taken on the right side of the patient against the film labeled R and uh, structures shown are usually mm. 
uh, there usually the uh, the lung fields, the the bony markings, ascending aorta, pulmonary trunk, proximal trachea, distal trachea, the arch, and the aorta pulmonary window. Thank you.